Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're back with another foundation review. Another one. Super late on reviewing this foundation, but life was just happening and I, to be honest with you, just didn't feel like filming. <laughs> so today I'm going to be reviewing the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. Don't they already have that? Yeah, they did already have this, but apparently they have reformulated this product. So this is the packaging, which looks very similar to the other packaging. It just looks like that graphic wise, it's been a little bit updated. I'm just going to jump right into this. You know, I don't like to waste time. So the first thing is, is that there's been a lot of reformulations going on. Um, Huda Beauty ended up reformulating their uh, foundation which I did not review because I just didn't get to the store in time to grab it and now I just feel like it's a lost cause when you reformulate a product my first question is why did we reformulate and I really for the life of me could not figure out why they reformulated this product I tried the total control drop foundation years ago when it first came out and I don't remember much about it except for the fact that I hated it so I don't know if it was just because they were collectively getting bad reviews on the foundation and they were like, hey, like this foundation just isn't selling um, profit wise. And so let's reformulate it. I looked on their YouTube. They didn't have like a video on why they reformulated. I did look on their Instagram and this is what I found. It says came through dripping. Drop on customizable coverage with our new reformulated total control drop pro drop foundation. The lightweight formula gives skin a natural, healthy looking finish while keeping skin looking hydrated and looking 100% your skin. No sulfates, no preservatives, no mineral oil, no nasties. So my question is, well, did your other product have nasties in it? Like, what's the difference? Like, they just didn't really go into that. With the release of this foundation, it looks like they have uh, two products that kind of go with the foundation. One of them is this Total Control Pro Illuminator. So this is like a drop um illuminator that you mix with the foundation or put on top of the foundation um and i did end up picking that up because i do like my foundation to be a little bit luminous it comes in two colors one that's like a warm honey and then another one that's like a cooler version so i did get the cool version of it just because i didn't want my face to be like too orange and then they also released these drop hue shifters which i think is actually really cool because everybody has that foundation where they can have like a million colors in the world but you just want it a little bit more red or you want it a little bit more yellow maybe you've gotten a tan or you're going on vacation you want to look bronze and so you're able to drop this stuff in and kind of mix it and make it to be your color i didn't personally buy one because i didn't think that i would need one um i was pretty pleased with the colors that they had available um from light to dark just didn't bother picking that up but i do think it's really cool not even just to use with this pro drop foundation but with any foundation i feel like that's something that we kind of needed the color that i got is called nutmeg it's like a neutral brown i just ripped this <laughs> okay as i'm shaking it it sounds very like watery but it is a you know buildable coverage foundation so i kind of expected that it definitely looks lighter and the bottle than I expected but lately I've been buying like super orange foundations because we can't test anything so I'm gonna not panic about that opening up the illuminator again kind of liquidy which I don't expect that to be thick but it's a really pretty illuminator for sure that looks really pretty so I think that I'm gonna like that so both of these here cost $14 each which isn't bad like I said I was pretty pleased with the um, shade range options however I do feel like they could have gotten a smidge darker there are 30 options which is pretty good for a drugstore product but I feel like drugstore products they're not going to come out with like 60 shades so I try to give a little bit of leeway um it looks like their darkest color is called like deep ebony and it is sold out right now on ulta.com and that goes to prove again they kill me when they say dark foundations don't sell exhibit a they sell so i've already done my eye makeup like all of it this time because i didn't feel like going back and cutting the camera to finish the rest of it i've already done all of my eye makeup i did prime my face with my nivea sensitive skin post shave balm so jumping into this i'm gonna actually toss my hair back because i feel like this might be a little bit messy i'm gonna use my real techniques um powder sponge so opening it up it is ooh, i don't like that noise so I'm going to just start on the bad cheek like I always do. And I'm just going to drop a few drops. 
first of all, this color is perfection. Coverage is really, really, really good. I'm gonna drop a few. I'm definitely liking this so far. Um, the dropper really like allows me to put on as much as I want to. I love for my forehead to be a little bit luminous because it's actually really, really dry. Probably because the skin on it is so tight because my forehead is so massive I'm going to like put two drops of foundation and then i want to put like two drops of illuminizer and kind of see like what that looks like and my two drops of illuminizer and this dropper is just not oh i did three. Oh, whatever and we'll see how that blends i'm gonna try and kind of blend them on my skin i probably should have blended them in my hand first um but i didn't so that kind of brought out like more of a yellow bright texture which i assume because it's a luminizer so it's gonna kind of alter your foundation just a smidge it definitely luminized my forehead which i love uh, one thing i will say about this is that this foundation seems like it is one of those foundations that sits on top of your skin and what I mean by that is that it doesn't really like adhere to your skin. I feel like that kind of brings on issues of transferring in the future um, because it does not actually bake down into your skin. I really expected this to feel kind of gross um, like some drugstore foundations kind of do. But I actually like the way that this feels, especially for the fact that it does not adhere to your skin. Because that Clinique foundation felt awful and it was like triple the price. So I wanted to try more of the luminosity drops. So I'm actually just going to me, 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 me. I just want to see what they do. Like if I put them in a certain area. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see on the monitor, but uh, yes. I'm just going to add some concealer. So I have my Morphe setting spray. I'm actually going to spray my face now before I powder it. Because like I said before, it's not adhering. So I think that it could go for a little spray down. Now I'm taking my One Size Setting Powder by Patrick Star. And I'm just going to go underneath my eyes. And I don't want to I don't want to set this down too much with powder because I really like the finish. And I want to keep that. I don't want the powder to kind of suck it up. All right, so now I'm looking crazy. I'm going to let this bake for five minutes and I'll be right back. I'm just going to dust this off. I really, really like this, you guys. And I kind of had low hopes. I was not even going to review this. Wow. I'm loving how this looks. I don't think it needs like a finishing powder. So I'm just going to go in just a little bit more with the one star setting powder oh, these earrings these like are the elite of hoop earrings but man they are not makeup friendly so i'm going to take my item cheek money which you guys know it because i say it in my fit in all my videos that this is my favorite contour when i'm putting this on it doesn't like it like it is not a uh, I don't know if you guys can see but it's breaking up in some places especially on this cheek um so i'm just gonna dab and that was what i was saying about it not adhering i'm like eh, i don't know now i'm going to put on a little bit of blush just dusting some of my fenty bronzer on just to warm it up a little bit so this is my Huda Lip Contour um, Pencil. It's in Spice Girl. Um, I'm just going to line my lips. I just want something super neutral today. Since we are in the spirit of NYX, I'm just going to put on some NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline. Let's get into what I think about this foundation. Well, obviously, I think it's the bomb. Here are the cons. Like I said, bad adhesion. I don't think I showed this on camera, but I did go back and spray this once um, I was finished and put all the bronzer and stuff on. Um, and it seems like it's kind of in there a little bit better but i just i just have this feeling that it's not going to last all day um that's okay with me because of the price um we are talking about nyx we're not talking about nars we're not talking about urban decay i just have lower standards for them with that being said though 
when I went back and put on powdered products I could see where like the me putting on the stuff with the brush was kind of like making the foundation break up it especially did it in this area but other than that those are the only complaints I have it's very comfortable to wear and then I think that the fact that it doesn't have mineral oil or parabens or anything like that is really a plus because I feel like until you try like a vegan foundation it didn't say that this was vegan but like a good ingredients foundation you really don't know how much of a difference it makes in your skin when you use a foundation that just has any old thing in it it's very very traumatizing to your skin over time and so you find that your pores are getting larger and that you're breaking out and I know that I still have big pores and I still break out but my point is is that whenever I use vegan foundations like skin love and other ones by Becca um, I notice that my skin is much much more happier so those are all pluses I think that I would still give this foundation five out of five stars it's $14 so it's affordable um, as far as like as far as I mean like compared to other things because this foundation is inexpensive and has that really good coverage where pretty much anybody could wear it and it's comfortable this is a foundation that I would actually buy multiple colors of to do other people's makeup um the only foundation that I usually buy when I'm doing someone else's makeup is the Revlon color stay because it's cheap um and then also it comes in lots of colors this might have replaced that so good job nyx i love it thank you guys so much for watching this and i hope that you leave a like a comment and a subscription and i will see you guys next time bye